What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I just checked my stats and saw that 45% of you that watch my videos don't even subscribe to the channel. So if you're watching right now and you're not subbed, hit the sub button. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Also, thank you to everybody using support of creative code Kiwis in the item shop. You guys know who you are. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, let's just hop right into the video. All right, guys. So today we're actually going to be playing in my first ever solo scrim in season five. I've done uh, duos and trios before, but this is my first ever genuine solo scrim. And I also haven't really been playing too much recently, but now that I'm back on the YouTube grind and stuff, I got to start practicing and improving and getting better. Yesterday, I uploaded a video playing arena like a cash cup because I need to get the champ. And I also need to improve on my fighting after not playing for so long. Today, I figured why not record my first ever genuine solo scrim. Even if I do bad, we're still going to put it in the video because we need to see the improvement. So that's what we're going to be doing i'm gonna upload my first ever solo scrim and then if we do die or something hopefully go into the vod review figure out what we did wrong and then improve from there if you guys want me to make more competitive videos all you guys have to do is drop a like on the video comment down below if you guys want me to do them if this video does really well then i definitely will make more competitive videos so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i'll see you guys later it's been your boy kiwis and i'm out Peace. All right, the first solo scrim that I've ever played actually in season five. Probably gonna do bad, but we're gonna use this as a situation to learn from our mistakes. We can fight off spawn, but we can't fight until storm surge. So I'm gonna land in my normal solo spot. We're gonna try and stay away from fighting. All right, I wanna make it to end game and I wanna learn the meta because I haven't really been playing. So make sure we get the most goaded drop of all drops. This drop is gonna be so perfect. I'm gonna be anybody that is trying to contest me. Apparently this spot's like contested now so look at this drop look at this perfect drop wait a minute who is that dude there's no way i'm lower than him though so that means i get there first all right we're vibing look at this guy look at this guy think oh what do, what do you what do you think's going on here give me an ar hello what are you doing brother why would he maybe he didn't see me that's some free points right there. All right, perfect. We got some mats off that guy too, some siphon. We already have impulse nades, which is great. Would like to get a better shotgun though. I also want to fish because I want to get that rift fish that everybody's talking about. I feel like using a rift kind of end game, like half and half is at least in a stacked lobby is probably not the smartest thing to do. Bro, I don't think anybody went to weeping. It literally looks empty. I think I got it free. All right. Let's go. Looks like we got weeping free. One thing I used to be really bad at is not getting all the, the ammo boxes, but now I've been kind of keeping an eye on that. Chug splashes are a big. Uh, chug splashes are probably good for heal off if I can carry multiple. If I carry a charge, I carry a charge. Ooh, a blue charge. Now we're talking. Okay, so playing solos, you kind of need to use two spots for heals unless you're stacked on minis or something. At least I, I like to use two slots for heals because I don't know. I feel like you need them way more in solos because you don't have teammates to hold all the other heals. So just save one slot for movement and then the other two slots for heals. And I, I don't, I never carry a sub. So shotgun AR is good for me. Uh, another big. I should go back and get that other big then. That's more shield to carry. More minis. Wow. All right, let's go back and grab that other big. And I think we're set for the rest of the game. Would be nice to get some bouncers. Where was that big that I dropped? There it is. All right, there we go. Now we got a lot of shield. There's no cars left over though to drive, which sucks. The car is kind of like the strategy of landing at weeping. You get the car and then you're able to free rotate pretty much shouldn't be too big of a deal though with these crystals crystals are a really good addition to the game i'm glad they brought these in because can you imagine just having to run through this big part of the map that would just suck another big oh that guy just picked it up before i get a bunch of comments saying why aren't you fighting you're cheating is because uh we're actually allowed to not fight right now let's take this taxi and let's go right to center zone you know what going up here might be the play oh we got another big i've so many bigs oh chug splashes oh now it makes me want to go back and pick up those other chug splashes oh my god more chug splashes these are good for heal off i think i'm just gonna take these instead just in case it comes down to it all right let's do this pretty good positioning barely center zone look at all the people based up center oh my dude what hello really center zone is right there look at everyone based center oh that's crazy Oh, we're in, but we got to go here. I'm going to hop in my taxi and I'm just going to peace. We need to pick a good position here, like right here. Having a car right here might not be the play, but if somebody shoots my car, I could get blown up. I guess that's the risk we're going to have to take here, people. So I guess what I'm going to try and accomplish here is I'm going to try and save as many mats as possible before moving zone. Like if I could save all my mats for second moving, I think I'll be okay. That all depends on where the zone goes. I wonder if anybody's going to rift in this circle because this is such a stacked game i feel like rifting here would kill you all right surge we're above 228 
is dead. He waited way too long to rotate. I want this kill if possible. Oh, wow. Got some hit markers, but couldn't get the kill. Spray this guy. Oh, this is a big rotate here. We could maybe run this to the right. I don't know if I want to use... This is a yikes. I want to save my mats. I think it might be worth impulsing. Now, I can run this to the right, dude. This is a free rotate if I go to the right. But these kids here are going to shoot me if I go. That's the problem. What if I went left? I want to try it. I want to try this. Try and sneak this. All right, we're in. That was good. I'm glad I didn't have to use an impulse. I want to save that. I can hold everybody that needs to come this way. Which is exactly what I want to do right now. If I can get a kill. This kid. He's a free kill. Come on, give this to me. He's so free, please. No! That was my kill. All right, give me zone. Give me zone. Give me zone. Come on. That's all right. That's fine. Mark it so I know exactly where it's going. We are definitely going to use an impulse here. Want to save our mats for second moving. All right. That's okay. We're going to go again. I kind of just want to keep walking this. I'm about to be in. I kind of want to drop. All right. All right, we have 200 mats. Twenty people alive. I got zone. Oh, Matt, refresh. Big. Take that. Stay under all these builds. Oh, this is weird. This is so weird. Can I get through here? I have to break this. Oh my god, he got on my box. No, this kid was so weak too. I would have been so fine if... Wow, that's crazy, man. I would have been totally chilling if he didn't do that. And I, I should have hit my shot, but I missed. Gotta be quicker at maneuvering. So right here, this is, this is what messed me up here. Like, I was trying to get through this, but you, you can't get through this. You have to break it. So that like slowed me down a little bit. And then as soon as I walked through, I was trying to place cones and stuff. And this guy just comes right under. I try to box him, I guess. Oh, I did hit him, actually. I did hit him. But I, I guess I didn't hit him for that much. Breaking this thing. I would have been alright if I didn't have to break that. He's at 50. I hit him. Now he's at like 20. I hit him for like 30. With a blue charge. I hit him for like 30. Wow, that sucks. Would have much rather have had attack in that situation. I probably would have killed him. I actually ran this really good. I, I went kind of early. I could have went up even more, to be honest, but kind of on dead side too. Everyone's over here. So that was a, that was a really good rotate by me. Now this is where the zone goes all the way over this way. To be honest, I probably could have ran this. Like I'm, I'm looking at this kind of looks free to run. Like kind of how this guy's doing down here. This guy's doing a good solo tarp. I probably could have followed him instead of using mobility item here. But then again, I would have had to use more mats and I don't know if that would have been the play. But yeah, so here we go. And I'm, now I'm all the way over here, which helps a lot. And then I get hit. I should have went earlier. Waited too long to use that second impulse. I want to drop, keep getting ahead. That's really good. So then I pull zone here and then I'm like, okay, this is free rotate. I'm just going to run under. I got a mat refresh, which is great. That's really good. Honestly, this is like a game that I should win. Like, oh, wow. There's a lot of mats right here that I just did not see. That's unfortunate. This part was so annoying. You can't get through here. 
That's just unfortunate. And we all know what happens here. That's crazy. I hit him for 30. Well, blue tack there. I probably kill him, get an even better mat refresh. And then I probably end up getting at least third or second place if I don't win the game. You know what I mean? Pretty good, genuine first scrim game. Like that was my first solo scrim game of season five. And also my first scrim game back. So I mean, that was pretty good, I would say. At least I didn't like die off spawn or anything. And I guess uh, there's a lot of things we can work on there, but well, hopefully you guys happened to enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. It's been your boy Kiwis and I'm out.